Wilson has recently relaunched the Pro Staff Classic shoe for 2020 in line with their recent release of the 13th version of the Pro Staff Racket. So the original Pro Staff shoe was released in 1986, and I was pretty lucky to get my hands on an unused pair of those shoes to find out Just how much has Wilson learned in 34 years? Hey everybody, it's Zach. If you're new to the channel, every week I test out new shoes on court and in the workshop from a perspective of a former tennis pro and current foot doctor. So if you wanna stay up to date on the latest tennis tech, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell, that way you don't miss a thing. Now the 2020 Pro Staff Classic shoe looks strikingly like its 1986 counterpart, but with some modern updates. What is very reminiscent of the 1986 shoes is the uppers. Both of these shoes have the same bulky white uppers and a terry cloth ankle collar. And look, even the eyelets are the same on both shoes. They both have this little center insert as well, which I actually really like. However, it does need to be longer if it wants to really do much in the way of evening out lace tension. Now, I know the uppers on the 2020 are a nod to the original. However, they are a bit bulky and they do take quite a while to break in. Now you do get a pretty thick, beefy shoelace in the 2020s, but you also need that because these shoes are a little hard to get tight with good tension because the uppers are just so bulky, it's kind of hard to cinch them down. Now the converse side to that is these shoes are extremely stable. They have multi-layered foxing and a pretty high heel counter as well as ankle collar. So when going side to side, these really do stay really rock steady. And if you're a chronic ankle sprainer, something like this would be pretty good for you. Now the uppers are where the similarities of these shoes kind of stop. The midsoles could not be any different. In the 1986 original Pro Staffs, on the midsole, it felt like I was wearing a pair of wood sole dress shoes on the court. Now obviously the 2020 Pro Staffs felt a lot more cushioned. I wouldn't necessarily call these shoes plush, but they do give you a solid ride. Now the shank on these is that Wilson shark fin shank, which I really geeked out on during the Amplifield 2.0 review. Now that shark fin shank also extends medially and laterally on the shoe. It gives you a ton of lateral stability with a really small footprint. It's a great design and one of my favorite shanks of all time, and I'm really glad they added it on this shoe. The treads on the 2020 Wilson Pro Staff Classic are a deep, chunky herringbone. They also have this giant air channel which is great for saving weight as well as allowing for sliding on clay or hard courts. These will grip a clay or a hard court just exceptionally well. The material also comes up on the medial side as well as on the toe cap for a little increased durability. I really like the treads on these shoes a lot. Well, that's quite a bit different from the 1986 Octopus Sucker configuration on that outsole. And how about the nod to the Indy 500? Now the Wilson Pro Staff Classics are a true medium fit shoe, which means the length is true and the width is actually medium. They're not narrow by any means. A lot of times online when you see medium, they mean narrow, they're not. Now I have a 2E foot and I went up one half size and the width was fine for me. I think if you have a wider foot than that, uh, you'll probably want to go with a different shoe because the uppers are so stiff, I'm still breaking them in. The width is fine, but the uppers in general are still really stiff for me. So I think if you go up one whole size, it just might be too much material in the shoe to make the shoe worth it to buy. So up to a slightly wide foot, go up a half size and you'll still be fine. Wider than that, find a wider shoe. Now, playing on court in the Wilson Pro Staff Classics was quite interesting. They only weigh 13.88 ounces, but they didn't feel as quick as some other stability focused shoes like the Asics Court FF2 or the Adidas Soul Court Boost. And I really think that has to do with just how clunky the uppers are. I came in at 15.31 seconds on the suicide test. And these days, if I come in above 15 seconds on the suicide test, that usually means the shoe is either not stable, not responsive, or a little bit uncomfortable for me to do the testing because it hasn't broken in. So there's really no getting around it with these shoes. The uppers are just really stiff. They're thick, they're really stable, but they are stiff. So when doing the suicide test, it is actually pretty hard to sometimes make those turns because those upper materials are kind of digging into the top of my foot. And as you can see with the infrared test, even indoors with a court temperature of 73 degrees, these shoes rose 26 degrees Fahrenheit after only 30 minutes of play. I did feel very confident with my movement though. I had no problem stopping and changing directions. Just felt really solid from every position on court with these shoes. I got a very respectable 26 centimeters on the serve test. Just shows that, that shank is really good at storing energy as well as saving weight. Well, the Pro Staff Classics remind me of a jack of all trades. They do most things well. You know, the fit is good, the movement's good, the, the tread is good, 
They just don't do anything exceptional. Well, except for that shark fin shank. I think if you're looking for some nostalgia or a shoe that's just not gonna roll, well then yeah, these are for you. You know, maybe you're coming back from a foot or ankle sprain injury and you need a shoe that's gonna aid in that recovery, fit a brace or an insert well, then yeah, these are also a good pickup for that. Now the 1986 Pro Staffs. They suck. They really suck. Maybe you keep these on the trophy shelf. But all kidding aside, the 86 Pro Staffs are a classic for a reason. They were really ahead of their time, and they introduced some really cool ideas for tennis shoes that later would be picked up by pretty much all of the best manufacturers of tennis shoes in the world. So let me know down in the comments below, do you think the 2020 Pro Staff Classics are worth giving a try? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. All right, until the next shoe, hope everyone has a great day, great night, wherever you're tuning in from, and I'll see you next time.